few good people would look yeah, for the crew at the end of that street. Now you see that old man all bent over in the middle, in that long black coat? That's old man back there. And I must say, that has to be the worst case of rheumatism I've ever seen. Grandpappy! I said Grandpappy! Yeah, yeah, I hear you. What do you want? You better hear me and hear me good, old man. You better oh, take them youngins on back home to that cove before you get them all killed. Killed? Well, of course my youngins are killed. Yeah, they're good at hunting and trapping and all kinds of things. Uh, I didn't uh, say skilled, old man. I said killed. Well, it don't matter what you said. We ain't going home no way. So we get that long that marshal and that pop out undertaker. Well, Grandpappy, uh, Marshal said he's going to defend that badge of his. Oh, oh, oh. Good oh, 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 you know what, though? No, I don't say it inside of that brave undertaker. Let's take that badge home tomorrow. Where is that undertaker? Grandpa. What do you want now? Can't you see that younger don't want to fight? Well, that young is just a bust in the body. He's done nothing, Jimmy. Well, you know, I'm going to get him back home. Oh, he's just busting the fight, is he? Is that why yeah. he's just a bust in his rear end with that stick? Why don't you take them boys back home? You've lost one young in here already. What? I said you best take them boys on back home. You've lost one young in here already. Oh no, again? What? No, no, they're all still. You can't tell. Get that young man over here. I was told you about that. You are going to fight. You better well get used to it. I'm not talking about today, you old fool. I'm talking about the one that got hung. Hung? <laughs> Why do you think we're in town, are you ignorant? That's why we're here in town to get the marshal that hung that young man. What? Boy, I don't need to tell you everything. I tell you to go fight. You go fight. That's the one that hung your little brother Buford. Ah, yeah. Get him, son. Ah, yeah. Boss, Jimmy wants to know who the one that hung his little brother Buford. I hung your little brother Buford almost straight to that scrawny neck of yours, too. So what are you going to do about it? Jimmy, he said he hung your little brother that's going to stretch your scrawny neck, too. Now, what are you going to do about it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it. I'll tell you. So he'd be wearing you for sure. Might as well take that hat off, Digger. I'm taking it home tomorrow. And that movie? Don't point that finger at me like that! Don't ever point that finger at me like that! You ain't getting no hat, you ain't getting no money. Oh! Oh, did you hear what he said? Get him, get him, boys! Get him, get him, boys! Get him, get him, boys! Hey, Grandpappy. Rufus is out of bullets. 
What do you want him to do besides throw rocks? Dynamite! Oh man, you're going to blow us all, the Yeah, here goes us! You got a stick of dynamite. No, 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 don't let it go too far now. Uh, uh, get it, get it, get it! Here goes the here goes the Hey, you little brother. Get it! <laughs> Scared me. Looks like you're young as a dead, Grandpappy. Oh! <coughs> they see you peeping up behind that barrel. Oh, no, you killed all my youngest. Get up, boys. Get up and do something. <laughs> hey! Get out. Oh, no. I don't think them youngins think, are getting up, Grandpappy. I think you killed them all. Oh, get up, son. Get up and do something. Oh. Oh, look at this. Here with Paul's favorite. Look at it. Oh, look at that pretty. Oh, look at that hair just like his old mom. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> Close that trap, boy. Oh, Jimmy! Oh, you killed the youngest one, Jimmy. You better watch him, Marshal. No telling what he's got under that long black coat. <laughs> Let's see who gets a nice leg on this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had to try it, but he was no match for the marshal and the deputy. Decker, what do you call yourself doing? Oh, you told him you'd get him all right. Is that why you were hiding behind the marshal? Well, check him out, Decker. How about him? Is he yours? He's Decker's. Well, fold him up so you can get him on a pine box. You say Digger gets fifteen dollars for each man he buries in Boot Hill. Looks like you're gonna have to roll Grandpappy over. <laughs> Digger, I think that's just a little muscle reaction. Ah, Digger, you gotta finish your work. Roll him back over. Push down on his feet, Greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Digger, looks like Red Peppy got that tall black hat he came to town for. Ah, <laughs> Digger, you gotta finish your job. Lift up on his feet, Digger. Now, Digger, you're going to have to fold him up. You can't get him in a pine box like that. No, you're not going to bury him in a rocking chair. Awesome, Deputy. How about help him? Must be that old hard liquor he's been drinking. Oh. Stretch him out, boys. Now, Digger, I'll tell you what, since Grandpappy's has come so far and it has cost him so much, I think it's only fair that you let him wear that tall black hat of yours at least until you get him to boot him. No. Then at least let him hold that hat. Digger, let him hold that hat. It's only fair. Well, folks, we've all witnessed here today one hard-headed, stubborn old man with a heart full of hate and just set in his ways, come to town and managed to get himself and that whole passel of youngins of his killed. Ordinarily, the parson would come out and say a few words, but he's out riding the circuit, so the neighborly thing to do would be to take our hats off and observe a moment of silence. Look, at Grandpa. Oh, 
Oh, just for that, you'll bury him face down. I don't know about that, but I do know this. That has to be the worst case of rheumatism I have ever seen. <laughs> On your feet, man. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The world famous Ghost Town Gunfighters in there for playing a little grand battle. Yeah. Give them just a few minutes to unload.